Welcome back to Onboard Tangroa. Last week we showed you how we got the generator going, which is perfect because there is no sun in the wintertime in Victoria. So Blaine and I took a break after that and we headed out to explore the wild west coast. Hey everyone and welcome to our crazy life on board Tangroa. Two years ago we decided it was time for our family to move on to a boat, but not just any boat. 1969 aluminum trawler that needed a lot of work. Of course, being the crazy people we are, we decided we could do the whole refit ourselves. I personally am surprised that we're not divorced yet and that our kids have not disowned us. But soon, Tangaroa will be ready for our trip around the world. We hope our adventures inspire you to live each day with laughter and appreciation. Visit us at onboardtangaroa.com for early access to ad-free videos. The finished product, product of the, uh, the framework. So the generator will be in this boxed in area on the end here. So it'll nestle in there and I've left it all open so I can access everything. Um, and nice platforms to bolt down to the, the base there. And you see there's on each leg I have that. And then the house 12 volt bank will sit in here, which is just two 8D batteries. And then the house 24 bank will sit on top. So that'll be this whole area up top. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I overbuilt the ever-living snot out of this. Uh, you could put one of our thousand gallon fuel tanks on top of this thing, but um, it should do very nicely. It should be robust for when we're maybe in some weather and we're pounding a bit, and uh, that'll keep things from moving around. So yeah, now I gotta get it to the boat, bolt it all down and start relocating the battery bank and Make it happen. Much to our displeasure though, winter was still here. I don't need you, you, I don't need you. It is hard to describe how beautiful it is out. I know, and I'm sorry the motor's running, but snow just makes everything quiet. It's like using the whole world a layer of insulation. And it's just so peaceful and beautiful. There's hardly anybody out moving around. It's just stunning. It's cold, but it's stunning. Okay. Let's go see how Andy's doing and I've got his diesel for him. So his diesel's right there, propane tank or propane hose. Let's make sure he's okay. And then we're gonna go check Krista and Dave's going to make sure it's okay. Everybody's fine. They're just kind of all held it in, but let's go check Krista's boat. Check this out. All these ice flows and just wood all among it. There's no way we're gonna get into where our dinghy slip is. So I think I'll crunch my way through this dirty ice. Oh yeah, this is fun. Let's get right into Krista's boat here. I can break that off. Whew. Okay, that's kinda cool. Okay, there we go, through holes are clear. I don't think we can get into our dinghy docks. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm having troubles. Um, I brought the boat out of action here and I'm not moving. Check it out. Not moving. Um, but I'm stuck on some ice flows and I have to be careful so I don't fall overboard. Um, but yeah. There we go. Let's see what's happening back there. Just need to get to open water. Okay, we're at open water, I think. As I was heading out to Tangaroa though, the best thing happened. We got whales coming into Brentwood Bay. They're so pretty. You getting this, Blaine? Blaine, 
You getting this? He didn't get it. He forgot to press the record button. But that's okay, because I had my phone. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. I'm actually standing on board Tangroa, so you can see how close they came. Oh my gosh! And then they were gone. We watched for about an hour, but we never saw them leave Bramwood Bay. All right, project of today is to replace the sea strainers. These are the main. So I'm getting rid of the old and uh, very old Groco units. They don't even make these specific ones anymore. You can't get rebuild kits for them. Um, we did attempt to do a rebuild on them in the boatyard. Unfortunately, they had some um, erosion on the ceiling surfaces that. Uh, could not be repaired, at least not easily. So these guys are getting removed and we have a brand new pair of marine hardware sea strainers going in um, that will work a lot better for our application. These are fairly new, they seal with O-rings, they're clockable, they've got mounting brackets. The old ones just kind of hang in the air off of the, the hose and the the other bit. So in the, in the boat yard we replaced the, the through hulls. There used to be big butterfly valves in there. Now we've got some, some nice uh, glass reinforced, um, uh, I guess, Marlon style uh, ball valves. Those are made by, what is it, uh, no, not marine hardware, uh, can't think of it right now. But uh, yeah, so we're getting rid of pretty much all of this with the exception of this elbow right here on each side. We're reusing that because that's a 316 stainless. And uh, yes, we do have stainless fittings into a bronze sea strainer. Not perfect, but close enough on the, the galvanic scale where it should last for a very, very, very long time. So, all right, got one strainer down here. Still have the second side to do. But, uh, here. So that's the new Obviously, sea strainer. And that's the old. And after installing strainer. the sea strainers, Blaine and I went to the pub to celebrate. Happy New Year's, everybody. Happy we just, New Year's. We just went to the pub, yep. had a lovely pub dinner. They invited us back for free champagne, and we went. Uh, well, we're going to be in bed. We're going to be in bed. Yep. So we're, we're technically outside. We don't need to wear our masks. But they're warm. But it's so cold we're wearing them. And now we're trying to figure out how we're going to get our dinghy out of the ice. Look at the shapes on the ice right now. It's almost like, what's the word? Um, math, like geometrical. Oh, look at that. Okay, you get the tender started. I'll untie. It was a beautiful dinghy ride back to Tangroa on the last night of 2021. And we woke up to a beautiful first day of 2022. Happy New Year's everyone. It was a cold night, minus 12 a last cool. night. Blaine is cooking in the galley with his toucan and his snuggie. But being from Louisiana, what you cooking? Grits and eggs. Grits and eggs. So we have grits, which we have to order off Amazon because we seriously can't get them here. Our Izzy loves grits too. Mm -hmm. So grits. And eggs. So the eggs. What are you doing here? This is Louisiana way of eating things. Eggs go on the grits. So the yolk. Into 
up. Get butter in there or anything? Mm -hmm. Butter, salt. Fogging up my camera. It's so cold. And of course, up. when there's food, Josh it shows up. Good morning. It is January 2nd and the ice is breaking up. About two days ago, uh, Steve from over there said, hey, my neighbor's boat is gone, which is weird. It's a little 26 foot sailboat named Ain. So he just found it. Um, it, went no it went south into the bay, which makes sense because it was a north wind the whole time. And it's encased in ice down there, but the ice is breaking up. So we've probably got one of the bigger tenders. So we're just gonna go grab it and tie it onto mooring. So when the ice does break up, it's not gonna go floating out to sea again. So yeah, that's gonna be the adventure today. But first, we need to get gas. Right there. And look at that bomb Blaine is like shaking it. Boop, 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 boop. And Maggie's gonna come along. Right, Megs? Yep. Let's just show you what's happening here. So this is Cliff. This is his boat that's here. And there's his mooring line that's drifting all the way out there. So it undid somehow. So we're thinking we're just going to undo the mooring lines. He's totally t tangled. Anyways. Lane. His mooring lines are totally tangled. We'll have to get them unwrapped off the mooring here. Oh, thank you. There, I think. Now let's go over that. That's stuck on the cleat on the other side. Okay. There we go. Pass me my bits again before you go, totally. Okay, let me go check what's happening. Um, I can't steer, his rudder's gone. Or his tiller's gone. Huh? Oh, it's a dead seagull! Ah, in the boat. Ah. I'm not, look. Yeah. Look at all the seagulls. They're like, what the shit? Oh. <laughs> ah, the horror. when we have no steerage on the sailboat. If he had left his tiller on, then I could have steered it, but he's taken it off the post, probably because it's a wood tiller or something, so we can't steer it. So easiest way to tow things is backwards. You just can't tow in the ice backwards because the motor can't be the first thing to go through the ice. It's not good for it. So we tied Ain to a mooring that wasn't used, and then I sent the phone number of the mooring owner to the owner of Ain so they could connect with each other. And after the rescue, Blaine went back to work installing his generator box. Well, this really sucks. Our uh, big tender went walkabout last night. We don't think it was stolen. The shackle was undone. So we think it just drifted away from the boat. When Blaine noticed it was gone when he went to work, well, went to go to work today. So now we are searching, let's say that. We put the notices out on Facebook. We've emailed some marinas, and now we are looking for tea. But yeah, it sucks. Cold too. Not as cold as last week though. Nope. You're a badass. You saw it. I think that's our tender. Woohoo! Is that it? I want to cry. Oh my God. 
just found our tender. I seriously, I just want to cry because I was so worried. It is like way the hell out here by Pat Bay. got his boat back and he's taken it back to his mooring which is on the bow of his boat so I'm not sure what he's gonna do but yeah he's off the mooring and he's taking care of his boat and I'm so glad um, we were able to find the boat because yeah it would suck to lose that boat because it's so cute and he says he has lots of awesome family memories on it so there he goes you gonna go put the boring down again? Yeah, I got uh, Brendan's new equipment there. Oh, awesome. Thank you so oh, much. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm so grateful. He was so kind. He bought a six pack of IPA for Blaine and a bottle of wine for me as a thank you. And then it started Just snowing to head to bed. again. And we're pretty much covered in snow. Check it out. I don't know if you can see this. This is how deep it is. Oh, right there. So, yeah. Covered in snow out here on the boat. Time to go to bed and see how much we have when we wake up in the morning. But of course, we needed to make a snowman before heading to bed. There we go. I need a head now. It's going to be a little head. That's a great way to get a head. Is it? It's like two feet deep in the parking lot. So I just came up and um, Blaine's here. Yes. I'm like, what are you doing? I'm enjoying a coffee because he cannot get his truck out of the parking lot. He's stuck. The yes. guys could have come picked you up. No. I've got the highest ground clearance of any of the cars that anybody drives at the shop. Nobody's getting down to me. Hmm. So we had some snow last night. You may have watched some of my social media, but look it. Just a little bit of snow. Like, so that's about, I don't know, almost a half a foot or more. Of snow. Snow angels. <laughs> the local seals seem to like it though. The only one that made it to work was Josh, because he just takes a dinghy, doesn't have to drive hey, a car. Josh. It's a lot of snow. You can't see his facial features. Okay, love you. No, it's gotta be in here. And while Josh went to work, oh, Izzy had her own job to do. Okay. After she found the shovel. <laughs> You get the snow off the railing, you don't have to lift it as high. Turn the shovel over backwards and just push it. Cool, eh? Be gentle on my varnish. Okay, this is bad. I was getting into the fridge. Woo -hoo. I was going into the fridge and a fat tug rolled out and it's in the water. Lane is going to kill me, but I have a net. I kept the fat tug. I have never used this net. But we got the fat tug! Yay! Jeez. Lane. We need railings. Never would have happened with railings. Uh, yeah, railings would be a good thing. I wouldn't be fishing.
fishing fat tug out of the water. Can we get on that, please? <laughs> 